I'm here today at Dirigible Brewing Company in Littleton, Mass, where friends Colin and Chris have finally gotten a chance to live out a dream that started back in 2014. Last year, they opened Dirigible in order to have a place where people could come and try their beers, have some fun, listen to music, and so much more. Colin, this is where it all begins. So show us uh, the process. The process is going to start with the um, kettle right behind you there. It's called a mash tun. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this grain here. We're going to crack it open, exposing the inner stuff. That's the stuff we really want. That's the starches. That's going to be converted into sugar. Um, if you want to try a little. Oh, I would love that. It's going to have a little caramel sweetness to it, almost a little bready. Mm-hmm. Starches have it converted into uh, sugars and we're gonna move that into uh, one of our boil kettles. And next we're gonna be boiling and we're gonna be adding hops. So before you go on, just so I and also the viewers know about hops, I didn't realize there are different varieties of hops. That's one of the main components in, in flavoring your beer. All right, so when you have the hops, what's the next thing that you do? Yeah, so we're gonna add them at different times during the boil. After this, um, the yeast is a living organism. We can't just go ahead and run a bunch of hot water or hot liquid onto it. It would kill it and then no beer. No so beer. We we're going to go ahead and uh, cool it really quickly uh, before moving it over to the fermenter. What is this beautiful thing, Colin? So these are our heat exchangers. This is how we're going to take that hot wort. So wort is what we call um, pre-beer. And that's going to go through these heat exchangers. We're going to pull water from the CLT or cold liquor tank. We're going to push it through one side of these heat exchangers as the wort goes along the other side. And what it's going to do is that cold water is going to strip out all of the heat from the, the wort. And then we're going to recapture that right into what is called our HLT or hot liquor tank. And then what's going to happen is on the other side of here, um, we're going to have uh, cooled wort coming out of here. We're going to hit it with some oxygen. Uh, before it goes through a tube over to our fermenter. What section are we in right now? So now we're in the fermentation row. So oh. this is where we have all of our fermenters. Right now we're going to add our cooled wort and then add our yeast to that. And it's gonna start fermenting. It's gonna create alcohol and CO2. Most of that CO2, we're going to allow that to blow off into a bucket. And then right towards the end of fermentation, I'm gonna close it up and ferment under pressure. That is gonna allow me to recapture a lot of our CO2. Now we're gonna get into kegging. Kegging, all right, show me where it's at. We're here beginning the process of kegging. So what are all these tubes and everything for? What's going on? What we're gonna do is we're gonna push the oxygen out of the tubes and the, the uh, couplers here. And as soon as we got all of that purged out, we're gonna fill our kegs. This is a, a great hometown brewery, kind of like Cheers atmosphere. A lot of locals are, are here all the time. Is there a wide array of beers that aren't the typical huge IPAs? The beer is phenomenal. It's, it's, it's constantly changing. Amazing flavor. Um, I can see dirigible going places. That's what I like. I like uh, trying different beers all the time, so. That's what these guys deliver. Cheers, Jeff. Cheers. <laughs> mm -mm. All right, Chris, in front of us, we have different types of flights. Tell us about them. So right here, we have two examples of our pre-made flights. This is what we call our light flight, and this is called our IPA flight for our IPA drinkers. On our light flight here, uh, we have our lightest beer here. This is called the auxiliary tank. We wanted to make a nice, very light beer at about 2.7%. I see that's 2%, it, it is very light, but I do, just what you said, I can taste the flavor. Next one here is one of my favorites. Uh, this is the Penny Farthing, it's an English mild. Uh, this one sits at around just 4.6, 4.7. This is the Penny Farthing. Next one is our American wheat, we call that the Spectacle Glass at 4%. And then my personal favorite, the Bohemian Pilsner, we call it the Automaton at 5.2. And then these are the IPAs. This one is the IPA flight. It's starting with our uh, biggest beer here, we call it the Chronic Chrononaut. That is our biggest beer at 9 points. This is the strongest alcohol too. Yes. Mm -hmm. I taste it. Next one is our best seller, the Cloud Hopper at 6%. Very, very hazy. Uh, you can't see through it at all. That is by style. Basically, the rule of thumb is the closer it looks to orange juice, the more to <laughs> more to style it is. And this is the this is the little Zep. Uh, that is our uh, lowest ABV 
IPA at 4.1. Like and it's gonna be very light, citrusy, um, very great for a nice hot day. And that one there is our pride and joy. That is what they call a black IPA. The reason why this guy is special is when Colin and I first started brewing together, this was the first beer that we collaborated on. First ever. First brewed it up and we tried it. It's like, wow, this is great. And this is our first time doing it. We can change it up, we can make it better. And it went through, no kidding, six different iterations. And every time it's like, wow, this ain't this ain't, the, ain't as good as the last one. Ain't as good as the last one. Hey, sometimes the first try is the best. Yeah, we nailed it first try. I'm, now I'm going to move on to the seltzer. America, I am not driving. Do not worry. <laughs> well, we wanted to have a option for non-beer drinkers or maybe people who were um, uh, had an allergy to gluten. So the first one you have there is our pineapple seltzer. So we offer a very low ABV uh, seltzer. This is 3.8%. Oh, this is good. <laughs> And this is 3.8? 3.8. And uh, what we have is a bunch of little flavor pumps that we can flavor any of these. And this one is? This is the passion fruit orange guava. This one's strawberry lemonade. And this one yeah. is cherry lime blue raspberry. Cherry lime blue raspberry. And it's one of our more popular ones. Once the camera goes off, I'm gonna be finishing this right here. Yeah, like put it into a Slurpee. Mm -hmm. So many ideas for a dirigible bloop brewing. I'm glad. <laughs> well, that's what I'm here for. Thank you so much, Chris. The motto at Dirigible Brewing Company is grab a pint and catch a flight. And I sure had fun today catching flights of beer and some seltzer too. That's my perspective. Hey, New England, what's your perspective? Dirigible Brewing Company in Littleton, Mass. <laughs>